5 GHz Ryzen might actually happen this time. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So a new leak was posted recently over on the website Igor's Lab, and if you don't know who Igor is, he's been in the industry for a while, and he's definitely a lot more credible than just any random guy on the internet, and of course, as always, there will be a link in the description below to go read his original article, but in any case, in his article, he went ahead and posted more details regarding a possible flagship Ryzen 4000 16-core processor with one engineering sample reaching up to 4.9 gigahertz. This clock speed is up from previous reports, making it look like AMD might be targeting a 5 gigahertz clock speed this time around. And the reason why they might be targeting 5 gigahertz is because of that marketing aspect. You know, Intel for years here now has had a huge clock speed advantage over Ryzen, and if rumors are true and Intel might actually be going down to 5 gigahertz, from its 5.3 GHz on its current flagship processor due to a more advanced architecture on a smaller node, making it a lot harder for them to get those high clock speeds, and Ryzen makes up to 5 GHz, people who simply look at clock speed to buy their processors will now have a harder time picking Intel over AMD. Now, on his website, Igor went on to write, which, by the way, there might be some errors in this because it was translated, but in any case, he wrote, quote, Sometimes you can't keep up with the news because two other engineering samples have appeared, the OPN of which contains interesting details about the targeted clock rates. These two OPNs also stand for the new 16-core CPUs, CPUs from the already known B0 stepping. Whether the faster of the two will be called the Ryzen 9 4950X or 5950X or something completely different in order to catch up with the APUs in the nomenclature remains, of course, still open. He then goes on to say, The faster of the two samples now boosts up to 4.9 GHz while setting the base clock to 3.7 GHz. In contrast to the previous engineering samples, this is again a visible increase and branches off that one is also slowly struggling towards the 5 GHz mark with its boost clock. It is still open whether this psychological brand, which is so important for marketing, will be cracked. But at least with this engineering sample, the next step has been taken. The Ryzen 9 4950 slash 5950 without the X could then also merge from one of the slower engineering samples, which is certainly needed in the portfolio. So after reading all this, now comes the part where we speculate on whether or not 5 GHz is actually possible. And while I think it's possible, it's probably not going to happen. Now, with leaks like this, especially with someone who's somewhat credible, there's very little chance that this is just completely made up. This probably does have some sort of truth behind it, and so I wouldn't be surprised if we did see the final retail version of these chips hit at least 4.8 GHz, if not the 4.9 GHz that was reported here. However, reaching 5 GHz this late in the stage might not be possible, and honestly, it might be that these engineering samples are pulling a lot more power than they want right now. And whether or not it hits 4.9 or 5 GHz, you gotta remember at the end of the day, it's pretty much all marketing and it's not gonna matter too much because as we all know, these Ryzen chips ever since Zen 2, when they have their rated boost clock on the box, it typically only just barely touches that for a few milliseconds on the fastest core. For example, with the 3900X that I owned, it had a 4.6 GHz boost stated on the box, but even under water cooling, it typically would not hit 4.6 GHz. It every once in a while would just hit it for a split second in a very lightly threaded load, but in all reality, its boost clock probably should have been more like 4.5 GHz. So just remember, if it says 5 GHz on the box, don't be expecting to get an all-core overclock of 5 GHz. That's probably not going to happen. But whether or not it hits 4.9 or 5 GHz, there's one thing that's for sure. These Ryzen 4000 processors are going to be absolute beasts, not only in content creation, but also gaming. You know, I've been hearing that it's supposedly going to be somewhere around 20% faster, and there's been a lot of various sources who have been posting this for a while now, and to me that sounds just about right. I'm guessing we'll probably get somewhere between 15 to 25% faster per core performance on these chips, so that's going to be a huge improvement regardless of the clock speed, and I would expect these chips to just ever so slightly dethrone Intel in gaming. The main reason for this is because, as I've been hearing, there's supposedly going to be an 8-core CCX design on these processors, 
which basically will allow them to have double the amount of cash accessible to each CCX without having to go across the Infinity Fabric. This of course should help the latency, but only time will tell if they can actually exceed Intel's gaming performance and for how long. In any case, that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is AMD going to actually hit 5 GHz this time around, and does it even matter? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below, and of course, I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.